All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna to show you how to solve a differential equation without having to memorize anything. So in particular, if you're taking an exam and you're suddenly stuck on a question because you forgot everything, remember this video because it will hopefully save your life. So for this video, let's consider the differential equation y double prime minus 5y prime plus 6y equals e to the 3x. Now, usually for this equation, you would use undetermined coefficients or variation of parameters, but none of that stuff today. No guesswork, I'll give you a direct method. And for this, we will have to use the factoring method, which I'll talk about in another video. Namely, it turns out you can write this differential equations as follows d squared minus 5d plus 6i of y equals e to the 3x. What does this gibberish mean? d squared of y just means differentiate y twice. So y double prime, d of y means differentiate y once. So minus 5y prime and then i just means do nothing, just the identity. So if you use those definitions, then well, hopefully you realize that those two things do say the same thing. But the awesome thing here is, well, this expression, you can actually factor out. Namely, you can write this as, let me see, d minus two i times d minus three i, of y equals e to the three x. And here's the awesome thing. Using this, you can actually write the second order differential equation as two first order differential equations as follows. Let this be z. Then, and I hope this won't make you dz, but you can write the equation as follows. Sorry, all right then this becomes d minus 2i of z equals e to the 3x, which we can now write, again, using our definition, this becomes dz, so z prime, and then minus 2z equals e to the 3x. Now, this is a first order differential equation. And as I said, we will not use variation of parameters. We will not use um, undetermined coefficients. Instead, we'll use something more direct. Well, here we have z prime, and here we have minus 2z. It turns out this just becomes a product rule if you multiply both sides by e to the minus 2x. So do that, and then what you get is as follows. And that's something called the integrating factor. What you get? e to the minus 2x times z prime, and then minus 2 e to the minus 2x times z equals e to the 3x times e to the minus 2x, so e to the x. And as promised, this becomes the derivative of a product because you do z prime times this and then plus derivative of this times z. So in fact, it's the same thing as e to the minus 2x times z prime equals e to the x. Because again, if you differentiate this, you get z prime. If you differentiate that, you get minus 2 e to the minus 2x. Great, which means now we can just directly solve this. So this becomes e to the minus 2x times z equals integral of e to the x dx. And therefore, e to the minus 2x times z becomes e to the x plus some constant, let's call it a. And last but not least for this step, well, to get rid of this e to the minus 2x, multiply by e to the 2x on both sides. And then you end up getting the following. So this is just z and then e to the x times e to the 2x. That's e to the 3x plus a e to the 2x. 
All right, wonderful. So this gives us z, but then the question is, what is our original function y? Well, remember what was z? It was d minus 3iy. So let's just use this equation. So again, z is d minus 3iy. And again, by definition, this is just y prime minus 3y. And this, this thing equals z. And remember, z was just e to the 3x plus ae to the 2x. Wonderful. So now we can just play the same spiel and you know, multiply this by e to the something. So here we have a minus three. So multiply this by e to the minus three x, then e to the minus three x. And then what this becomes, it's simply e to the minus three x y prime minus three e to the minus three x y equals e to the three x times e to the minus three x. That's one plus a e to the two x times a e to the minus three x. That's a e to the minus x. And again, lo and behold, this becomes a derivative. So e to the minus three x y prime equals one plus a e to the minus x. And then great, now all you have to do is integrate. So e to the, oh, that rhymes. So you get e to the minus 3x times y equals integral of 1 plus a e to the minus x dx. And so e to the minus 3xy becomes x. You integrate that, so minus a e to the minus x. So if you're wondering where this minus comes from, it's an antiderivative of e to the minus x is e to the minus x over minus 1. And Remember your constant b. And so this gives you e to the minus 3x times y. And again, to get rid of this e to the minus 3x, multiply this by e to the 3x. And this becomes y equals x e to the 3x minus a e to the minus x times e to the 3x. So minus a e to the two x and then plus b e to the three x. And this gives you your solution. And again, I just want to compare this. And lastly, I just want to compare this to the usual solution you get with undetermined coefficients. If you do that, you probably get something like a e to the two x plus b e to the three x. And then your particular solution will probably be x e to the three x, because the three is kind of repeated in the root. So it, it's a resonance term. Well, it's exactly the same thing as here. The only difference is here we have minus a, but because a is arbitrary, uh, it doesn't matter if you use minus a or a. So in fact, it is the exact same solution. But the cool thing is this is more direct. We started from the differential equation, didn't do any guessing, and got this solution. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.